Hello my friends, this is Ian and welcome to today's video which is for prompt 8 for Inktober and that is Star. And rather unusually for myself, I got a real urge to do a sci-fi piece and depict an uh, epic space station orbiting a star. And I really liked the idea of it being part of a swarm of other stations, like a network. I was thinking in terms of a, a Dyson swarm, where you've got a swarm of space stations or satellites around a star, all of them gathering up the energy from that star for whatever advanced civilization is. But this is kind of going away from the idea of a Dyson swarm in that it's not gathering energy, it's just some kind of a, a space station around this star and is a part of a, a greater network of space stations. Quite why they would want a station this close to a star is beyond me. I imagine it's probably physically impossible if you're not being torn apart by the gravity, you're probably being blinded and fried alive. Uh, but hey, this is sci-fi so none of that matters. Let's build a space station right next to a star. Not so functional, but it'll look awesome. Creating the sketchwork for it was really, really simple. It took no time at all in that it was just a scribble on a page to indicate the silhouette and the amount of uh, perspective shift between the top and the bottom, because I wanted this thing to appear really large. So the very top of it, you're going to be looking up at. So you're going to see the underside of the parts of the station. And then if you're looking down towards the bottom of it, you're going to be looking at the top sides of it. So there's this perspective change as you look up and down. Now I just did straight lines straight across left and right like a, a scribble down the page to indicate that change of perspective as it went and then when I did came onto the line work that's where I really started adding in the details like the different decks and levels different panels and vent systems and antennae and things all the way down from starting right at the top and working my way all the way down to the bottom this was just a very simple repetitive task where I just let myself go into it as per usual with line art and just let my pen do the work and pull out the details from the very very scribbly uh, sketch work underneath and after relatively little time I had a space station and it looked cool and considering I don't really do a lot of sci-fi I'm really happy with the way that it turned out it it looks like it's a space station it looks like it's a thing from some great alien civilization or far off human race distant future civilization and often when I try and do sci-fi usually it just looks like um, nothing in particular with a bunch of pipes and panels attached so I'm really happy with the way that this turned out and definitely the setting helped being able to see one up close or relatively up close whilst it's dwarfing these tiny spaceships flying into around it presumably to dock with it and then seeing that in comparison to presumably similarly built space stations off in the distance and they're being dwarfed themselves by this giant sun in the background. I really like playing with perspective and this is one of those times that I definitely had some fun kind of forcing how vast the scales are that we're talking here. I was thinking about continuing in that theme and having one of the very small spaceships up close so you could see the progression of perspective going all the way back. You see the big ship up close next to a smaller version of itself way in the distance being dwarfed by this immense huge space station which in turn is being is dwarfing its sister stations which are then in turn being dwarfed by the sun but I realized that was probably going a little bit too far and uh, also anything up close would have been covering the sun which may well have detracted from the final piece so I decided to forego the foreground spaceship and I like this interpretation of the scene it feels like some establishing shot in a, an epic TV series or film. I did start having a few problems when it came to using the aquash pens to start adding in the shading and the space in the background. At 
first I stupidly went to add a darker shade of grey onto a still wet piece of lighter grey in the top part of the space station and it very quickly bled in and there wasn't anything I could do to stop it and it surprised me slightly um, so I left that part and came back to it later when it had dried and thankfully was able to rescue it um, but most of the problems that I had was actually creating the sun and the space section up in the top right. The sun, because obviously I couldn't add anything that was brighter than the paper, I couldn't really really emphasize the bright glowing nature of the sun, so I had to basically use the white of paper, which is actually kind of creamy, and use that as the brightest spots and then work to the darker spots which don't want to be that dark because it's still a really bright thing. So it's interesting working with colour value rather than colour to emphasise how something is really bright in that if you were to take red for example it, we emphasise red with something being hot and light whereas if you change it to just its value you remove the colour and just have the value it's actually quite a dark grey uh, so it's very difficult to kind of create the same effect just using the values alone you have to kind of brighten the value and then use something which if you were to convert back into colour probably wouldn't look right at all but for the purposes here it actually kind of does. I did create some darker patches to emphasise kind of think areas which might be sunspots but I don't really think anything worked well and I think I was probably fighting a losing battle simply because there was no way of creating a brighter value than the quite dull value of the paper. I think what I managed to create works quite well though and if anything looks better on camera than it does as the actual final piece and it got me thinking that it might be quite fun to do this piece digitally at some point and address some of those problems that I've been discussing here. And maybe we'll do that with a couple of the pieces at the end of Inktober. The very final piece was creating space and for whatever reason I was completely unable to get a nice gradient down towards the sun, which actually after it dried kind of worked well. It helped a little bit to add a haze around the out of outside of the sun like there's some kind of hot atmosphere there and uh, I think that probably helps with the problems that I was having from the sun earlier on. And that was pretty much it for this picture. It uh, came together pretty quickly. There wasn't a lot of uh, sketch work to it so I didn't have to sink much time into that but the line work made up for that. I think overall it took me about an hour and a half or so and considering it's a subject that I don't really do a lot of drawing for, I really enjoyed the process and I enjoyed the final piece. I think it came out really well. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me put this piece together. If you have, please do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always guys, please take care, and I'll see you next time.